Eric led to the 9-11 attacks. His name is Hamayadin al-Turki. I've made a couple of videos about him. I was a parapro. Uh, he's a very smart man. He was working on his doctorate. And we were both parapros in the same class in the reentry program. We were part of the reentry program in Lyman. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, yeah, there was, there was a lot of those type of people over there. Um, but Lyman was much more relaxed. Lyman was pretty cool. Actually, I got, I got to say that whenever I first got there, it was cool until that woman got hit in her neck. The woman got hit in her neck in power sewing. I was in power sewing at the time. Right. So I'm, ta I'm sitting there talking to the cop. Right. I'm, it's not even a cop. It's an industry dude. He's that uh, we're power sewing dudes. Right. And so I make like I was making mittens at the time. Oven mitts. That's what I was making at the time. So I'm in there sewing oven mitts and I'm showing dude the oven mitt. I'm like, this is fucked up. Uh, you know, and I'm talking to him about it. And I, he's got his like radio right here. And you hear a woman just scream at the top of her. Like she's dying, right? And and the dude looks at me. I remember it. He looked at me and he didn't know what was going on. And he started shaking. He had his hands because he had the mitten in front of him. And he started shaking because he didn't know if it was a riot. He didn't know. And he, all he knew is he was stuck with me like in the corner with me. You know what I mean? And I've got like an 18-inch pair of shears right here. You know what I mean? And he, I don't know what he was thinking, but he just started shaking and he started backing up and he couldn't talk. He wouldn't speak. I was like, dude, what's going on? I didn't even realize what was going on. And so I kind of looked back. It was like a rack focus. If you know, you're looking at something right here and then you kind of zoom out and look at stuff behind you. And I start seeing cops just run. Voo, voo, voo. And you can hear, now you start hearing the screaming again over the thing. You can hear her screaming. And so now I'm just kind of walking around like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? So I cruise over and I get me a little cup of coffee, right? No, I, that's what I was doing. I, I, whenever he walked off, I was like, whatever, man. And I went and I was getting my little cup of coffee because they gave us free coffee. And then I started walking around the thing and I started walking down the hallway because I want to see what the fuck's going on. There's cops running all over the place. And I run and I look through the door and there's a door that goes through the cutting room because this is where I work. I don't, uh, 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 this was one of the places that we would go to get our fabric was the cutting room, right? So I look down. As a matter of fact, what's his name was there? He's in the chat. Rob's in the chat. He remembers this. Um, so uh, uh, we watch call. So uh, uh, I, I go look and, and I look through the door and uh, the door has a glass window. You know what I mean? And I look and I see her running. Her name was and she comes running and she's got her, her arm like this and she's running as fast as she can. But you could tell that her shirt's all ripped open, dude. And so. I just kind of opened the door, you know what I mean? And I was like, well, clearly she was in a hurry, you know what I mean? I didn't see any blood, though. I can't say I seen any blood or anything like that. But I opened the door, and she went, vroom, took off running down the hall. And then maybe like 10 seconds later, they just started screaming, get on the floor, get on the floor, everybody, da 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 da, da. And they rounded everybody up in that hallway, and they made everybody sit on the floor. And we sat there for hours, and then they brought this fool Skeeter out, this black fool Skeeter who was an SO anyway. Uh, he was an SO, but he would hide with the cops. He would, um, he, he worked with the cops. That's the thing they had, they were protecting him, the S the sex offender. And so he worked in the office with the cops. He would, didn't work out there with the rest of us. And they brought this fool out like Hannibal Lecter. They, they beat him bad. I know they beat him bad. I don't know if he was trying to spit on people, but they brought him out with the whole mask on his face. And you could tell they had beat him bad and they were wheeling him out on a dolly. And then they locked us down for months. They just locked us down. Gave us like two, three showers a week, maybe, if we were lucky. And just locked it, just slammed down. Locked down 24 hours a day in your cell for months. And then uh, whenever they finally let us off, they let us all go to the chow hall the very first day. I can still remember it. Like the back of my mind, dog, we walked in the chow hall. I was like maybe the 10th person in line. We were right at the front waiting to get our food. And, and the cops were trying to make us sit with whoever. And the first couple people were like, whatever, on some racial shit. The, co the cops were trying to make us sit like blacks, whites, da 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 And the first person who told them to fuck off was a 211 dude, this fool zombie, who was built like me. He was a big boy. He was built like me, even kind of looked like me. He said zombie all big on the back of his head. Homie, he was with the business. He already had a life sentence. And he went and sat down, and the cop went and told him something. And he was like, homie, get the fuck away from me. That's what he told him. He's like, dude, you better get the fuck away from me. And the cop pushed his gut on him. The cop was fat and he pushed his gut on him and zombie stood up and just drilled that fool. Boom. And knocked him back onto the table. And then he grabbed him by his shirt and just started laying into this cop. Right. Boom. Boom. 
just letting him have it. And the other cop runs up and grabs him. And now the zombie's squabbling with both these fools. Boom, boom, boom. Eventually, they get they get the better of him. You know what I mean? They get him on the ground and they get the better of him. They lock us all down. We're slammed down again for months. And then after that, it just kept going and going and going. Every time they would let us out, they let us out. And there was a Southerner got the heads with this GD fool and the Southerner lost. And uh, the, the Southerners were like, yep, yeah, we're not taking that loss. I'm talking like we were a month off lockdown again. And, and the Southerners were like, yep, yeah, we're not taking that loss. And then a whole race riot popped off with the whites, the Southerners and the blacks. And everybody went to the hole. And I happened to get in a fight with a Southerner on the exact same day. So they thought I had something to do with it too. So I got wrapped up too. I got wrapped up on that whole situation and sent to Centennial. A whole, like a whole van load of us got sent to Centennial. I swear to God, I had nothing to do with that riot. Like zero to do with that riot. I just got the heads up with one Southerner. That was it. It was all sanctioned and everything. Everybody was like, yeah, it's cool. Let them fight. You know what I mean? Let's see what the chat's doing. Nah, well, the the that was I don't I don't even blame the two elevens on that one. They put him in a trick bag, man. How you gonna do that to somebody at six in the morning, man? They didn't have to do that. They put that dude in a trick bag, from what I could tell. His politics say that he can't sit down and eat with that black dude. And you're gonna be like, no, you're gonna say, Oh, oh, I know you've been programming this way in Colorado for 20 years, right? With your life sentence or whatever, but 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 because we let some sex offender uh, 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 around uh, in, a, in, a, in a privileged position. This dude had a, a clean ass job, dog. We had to at least do stuff. Like this fool's in the office on a computer all day. And as soon as he got a chance, he tried to take, take some, uh, you know what I mean? Tried to take some action, tried to get some action, put the, put the things to her neck, dog, those shears, the same ones I was talking about. He had his own and he put those to her neck, dog, and tried to get, tried to get busy with her, you know? And luckily she was able to fight him off. So so now you want to come mess our whole program up. Now you're going to come. I can even remember whenever we were on lockdown, those four months we were on lockdown, they brought all this riot gear in and then practiced it on the side of the wall inside of the courtyard of the prison so everybody could see them going in, practicing going in on people, practicing shooting people with rubber bullets and all this other shit. This is how they act. They did it to intimidate us. Clearly, they did it to intimidate us. They did it right in front of our windows. You know what I mean? You look out the window and you see cops out there practicing beating the hell out of people. Right? So, 